Hey guys, it's Jenny. Today I have a video for you that was, well, not really requested, but I got a question from Rock and Roller Anthony if I had any tips for going to a concert all by yourself. And I do go to concerts sometimes by myself, so I thought I might as well make a video out of this because I have a few things that I do when I go to shows alone, and I thought why not share this with all of you. <laughs> So if you are thinking about going to a concert alone or by yourself and you you don't know if you want to go or not because you feel awkward or scared or whatever, please go, please go to the concert because it will be amazing. The first time I went to a concert all by myself, I was really in doubt whether I should go or not, but the Bloodhound Gang was playing here in Holland and they don't play here that much often. And it was kind of a last minute decision because they had a hole in their tour and so and so they wanted it. And so they give a concert here in Holland. In Amsterdam and because of the time schedule was so quickly yeah there weren't any friends uh, that could go with me and the show was also sold out and then later I found just one ticket on Marktplatz like the Dutch eBay kind of thing and so I decided to go on my own and I had the best time ever it was so awesome and I'm so glad I saw them it was a complete completely sold out show and everybody was so nice and happy and it was amazing and I've never regret going to it and after that I went to several shows all by myself actually because every time there is a band coming to Holland and nobody wants to come with me I just go by myself because I do not want to miss the band and it's not that scary to go alone actually so to start off with the tips first thing I want to share with you is come in very late or skip the support acts if you want to I do this sometimes because I do not like the support acts support X always sometimes I check them out before I go to the show because sometimes they have an old they have a band with them that tours with them from the place they are from and then sometimes the bands are actually really nice sometimes there are a lo few local bands that are nice to see but most of the times I do not like the support X so I kind of skip them because that way I don't have to wait so long for the support act to start all by myself and then I won't get bored and blah blah so I always like to come in very late during the down times when you have to wait till the band starts I like to grab a drink and walk around the venue a little bit or check out the merch just anything to keep myself busy I also take my phone with me so I can check my phone from time to time Instagram or whatever just to keep myself busy in case I do not want to talk to other people which you can do because that is the second tip I have for you you can talk to people if you want around you because you can always start a conversation with someone like that who is visiting like the same band you can have a conversation about the band you're about to see it is it just could be anything music involved because you are at the same concert with obviously the same interest for that night so there is plenty to talk about but only if you want to because sometimes I don't feel like talking to people and then I just keep minding my own business and checking out my phone but that is something you could do then during the concert when it's a quiet concert and you do not want to get bored I don't want to say bored because you are going to see one of your favorite artists and you probably won't get bored but sometimes you can feel a little awkward and I like to take my camera with me and take some pictures and videos well, I obviously obviously make videos to put them here on my YouTube channel But I don't film like whole numbers because because that is the most annoying thing you can do I hate it so much when someone is pulling up her phone like the in, entire fucking song And it's my favorite song and the only thing I can see is this fucking phone that is pretty annoying So if you take your camera with you take a few pictures and take a few shots of the songs or whatever just to keep yourself busy when the when it's a quiet concert or whatever but don't film the whole show because that's annoying then another thing I like to do is standing in the middle of this venue or a little bit in the front of this at front of the stage that way you are not that alone anymore most of the diehard fans are in that area so you can stand by them and then you don't feel alone anymore because people are like standing next to each other and it's not like when you have that feeling like all eyes are on you like oh my god she's alone nobody cares I think like 95% of the people who's there don't even see that you're alone so you don't have to feel awkward about that but if you think you feel awkward just like for yourself you can stand right over there because you're not alone you don't have a lot of space around you because people are right there so that's the place I like to be then the last thing and I did this once and it wasn't at a concert but it was at a fashion event I used to blog before I started YouTube I still blog blog it sounds weird blog every now and then not that much as I put my energy in 
YouTube right now, but I went to a fashion event and then I started looking on Twitter if there were other people going there who were by themselves as well. So I found someone who was alone as well, he, he or she tweeted about it and I was like, okay, can we go together? Can we meet on Central Station or whatever? Because I'm going alone as well and I'm kind of scared, don't know what to expect. It's my first fashion event ever. So we decided to go together and now we speak to each other every now and then still. It just, it just became a long distant friend. I don't see her that much often, but it was very nice because I wasn't alone anymore and it wasn't awkward. So if that is something you feel comfortable about, just go look on Twitter and search for people who don't want to go alone as well and then you can meet up and go together. So these were the things I do when I go to concerts and obviously I don't do every single thing. I just told you every time I go to a concert alone, sometimes I just go alone, stand there, watch the, watch the show and then go home without even talking to someone. So it's not that weird if you don't talk. If you don't feel like talking to someone, it's okay. Just, just go and enjoy yourself and enjoy the show and be proud of yourself by going there and having a great time because that's the most beautiful thing you can give yourself, doing stuff you like to do, whether it's alone or together. I mean, there's a lot of people who are traveling alone. So yeah, that was everything I wanted to talk about. I hope you liked this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and become a rock and roller because I would love to have you here and it would make my day. And I'll see you guys later. Bye!